We're back. Huge morning in Hollywood. Nominations for the 96th Academy Awards actually being announced as we speak. As we speak and here to break down the nominees, snubs and surprises, Turner Classic Movies host Dave Carger. He's out with a brand new book today, too, called 50 Oscar Nights. Oh, cool. Good timing. I love that. You we will I ask do. you about this cool book, but first got to get to this breaking news. We've, we're getting the nominations. They're rolling in. Let's yeah. start with Best Supporting Actor. Yeah, Best Supporting Actor. The nominees were Sterling K. Brown for American oh, Fiction, wow. a movie that's really coming on strong kind of late in the Hollywood season. He is, of course, a multiple Emmy winner, but this mm -hmm. is his first Oscar nomination, and he's up against four guys who have all been nominated before. So Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., who I think is going to win, mm -hmm. Ryan Gosling for Barbie, and Mark Ruffalo for Poor Things. And it was a question of, would Mark Ruffalo get nominated for Poor Things? Would his co-star Willem Dafoe get nominated oh, for right. Poor Things? They've <laughs> so kind of each him. been getting nominations. Mark right, Ruffalo. Let's, let's talk supporting actress. Well, this one is the reverse. There's yeah. only one person here who's been nominated or won before, and that's Jodie Foster. The other four are first-time Oscar wow. nominees, including America Ferreira from Barbie. She had that wonderful she monologue at the speech. end of the film. Yeah. Dave I enjoy Randolph, who I just adore from the movie The Holdovers. Danielle Brooks, who's so great in The Color Purple, just steals the movie. She was the only acting nominee from that film. And then Emily Blunt, who is a fixture at other award shows uh -huh. like the SAG Awards mm -hmm. and the Golden Globes, but this is her first Oscar All nomination right. for Oppenheimer. All right. We've, let's take through them a little quicker. We got yeah. Best Actor. Who do you Best have? Actor is a great race. Bradley Cooper for Maestro, Coleman Domingo, Paul Giamatti, Killian Murphy, Jeffrey Wright. These are the five guys that got the nominations for the SAG Awards. How about Best Actress? Best Actress, the big news here is that Margot Robbie was not nominated oh, for Barbie. Wow. And that really surprises me. Instead, they gave that slot, if you will, to Annette Benning for Nyad. Oh, she was so great, great in that. that. Yeah. And has never won an Oscar. And I, one of these days she will. I don't think it's going to be this year. I think the front runner is Emma Stone here, who could win her second Oscar for Poor Things. And then I want to shout out Sandra Huller, great European actress for this movie called Anatomy of a Fall, which did very well with big nominations. I love that film. Let's talk about Best yeah. Picture. That was coming in yes, as we were coming on yeah, so right I, now. I saw about half of the nominees that were there. So American Fiction was nominated, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon. So this this 10 I'm looking at right here are the 10 that were predicted. Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, and the Poor Things. And then this film, The Zone of Interest, which is a really fascinating film that's set during the Holocaust. It was nominated for Best Director for Jonathan Glazer, Best Screenplay, and Best Picture, a movie that people are just learning about. Very powerful so you film. You said Greta Gerwig oh. was not nominated yeah. for Barbie. Not nominated for surprising. Best Director. Instead, they gave her spot again, if you will, to this European director named uh, Justine Trier for a film called Anatomy of a Fall, which is yeah. actually my favorite movie of the year. A really brilliant European courtroom drama that had a wonderful showing today. So those are the snubs that you just mentioned. Those are the, anything else, any other surprises that popped up? To I mean, you? something minor like Killers of the Flower Moon was not nominated for screenplay, but did very well across the board. Again, Leonardo DiCaprio not getting a nomination for that film just speaks to me that it was a very powerful and crowded year in the best actor category. There are a lot of great things for people to choose from. And I also would have liked to have seen a couple of the cast members from May, December get in there. The film with Julianne Moore and Natalie yeah, Portman. You thought Charles Julianne Moore might be nominated. I thought she would get another nomination, but um, instead I think maybe America Ferreira uh, got in there over her, which is very deserved. She's fantastic in Barbie. And we had Danielle here um, a week or so ago from The Color Purple. She's incredible like yeah. lights up a screen and she's the you said the lone member of that film to get nominated yes uh, her co-star coleman domingo did get nominated for his other film uh. rustin but anyone who sees the color purple that performance by daniel brooks it just blew me away i wow. just loved it i'm watching Nyad right now actually yeah. and both annette benning and jodie yeah. foster getting nominations and That's well deserved well deserved i just love seeing jodie foster do anything i know you guys were talking to love her recently her. for yeah. true detective she is so winning in Nyad. every scene she's yeah. And I just wanted more and more of her. I'm really happy those two women both got it. Can quickly about your book? Yeah. What's happening? It dropped yeah, it's, today. A, it's a book called 50 Oscar Nights. I did new interviews with 50 Oscar winners from Meryl Streep to Julia Roberts, Steven Spielberg, Jennifer Hudson, John Legend, all about the day that they won oh, their Oscars. That. From the moment they woke up to the moment they went to sleep, stories they've never told before. Some really, really fun stories. So fun. It's a coffee table book, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's got some great archival photos oh. in there. It was an absolute pleasure to put together. Perfect timing, yeah. too, yeah. for you, Dave. You. Like that? Thank, Thank you. you. Well done. It's Thank almost like you planned it. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.